It's an arrogant, egotistical, very prideful state to try to debate somebody on scripture. I got the word of God in my heart. And Marcus, no, I got the word of God in my heart. At the same time, Marcus is picking on our good Christian stud, Jackie Hill Perry, and we don't like that. Alcoholic? Wow, God really delivered you. The gay? To tell someone they can be delivered is backhandedly telling them you, they have a problem. Have y'all ever heard of Jackie Hill Perry? Have y'all ever heard of her before? She's widely known for being a delivered lesbian. She's an ex-lesbian. Well, her and her husband is a part of the crew on social media that always try to debate doctrine and this is how you should do this. And da, 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 da. It just gets so tiresome. Now, I don't really know a lot about them, but I include them in the group of social media folks that do this kind of, I have Christ, but you don't have Christ. So let me teach you how to have Christ. And if you do have Christ, I got a better version of Christ. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you the husband's page just real quick. Okay. He has this YouTube page and I'll go through some of the things on there. It's apologetics with Preston Perry. Preston Perry talks to a woman who worships the earth. Preston Perry talks to a group of LDS elders. Street convo. Christian talks to a monk. Basically like this kind of nice guy. I'm going to have a cool conversation as the Christian representative, but at the end of the day, I'm trying to own you on a sneak tip. That's my personal opinion. And, and you got to watch those type of guys because they come across real nice and, you know, I'm just going to go on the streets and I'm not trying to, I just want to have a Christian conversation with you. But at the end of the day, you're trying to witness, you're trying to get them to Christ and it is not as friendly as it seems. Why do I say that? Because it's a motive. Like, come on, like, let's be honest. People come to the church, they walk in the doors and you got the greeters. Hi, how are you doing? And it's done cloaked as the love of Christ, but it's all about witnessing evangelism or impressing them so they can join the church. And I'm okay with that if people would just be honest about that. See, there ain't nothing wrong with good marketing for Jesus. Every church needs a good marketing program, but just call a spade a spade. We are welcoming you here because we want you to join this church. Now, if you give your life to Christ, that's cute, but meets in the seat means the budget is met. It looks like they were hit with their own medicine because of this. Now, let me tell you, I, I don't know many a-holes and I'm not cussing because my mom and dad don't want me to cuss. So, and I'm gonna just be nice. I'm gonna be a good son. I don't know many a-holes like this yellow fella on here, Marcus Rogers. Now, uh, Rogers put up a post on social media. Now, I want you guys to hear this because I want y'all's opinion on this, okay? Marcus Rogers put up a comment about, uh, excuse me, a social media post about two months ago, basically saying that it's unfair. Now, y'all, I want y'all to hear this language because I want your opinion on this. It's unfair that lesbians can be delivered and be ex-lesbian and still can act masculine and be accepted by the church. But if a gay man, mm -hmm, I don't know why I'm tickled, is still feminine, he's not accepted by the church. I don't know what, well, I know what it is because Marcus Rogers, uh, he goes to the white people church. So, sir, you clearly ain't been no black folk church because it ain't nothing but the feminines in there. <laughs> the feminine men. So I don't, I don't know, Marcus, where you even got that from, but I get where you were coming from, right? So now those that saw the post automatically assumed, according to Marcus Rogers, he was calling out Jackie Hill Perry. And all the social media studs for Christ went off. Because one thing you ain't going to mess is mess with the queen stud, Jackie Hill Perry. Okay, I'm going to go. Y'all, I'm just playing. Let me joke, okay? Anyway, what Marcus Rogers does, instead of just saying, I wasn't talking about Jackie Hill Perry. All he had to do was put out a statement or ignore the people. But let me tell you what Marcus does. Marcus then makes a whole video in his title. I made a bunch of ex studs in the church furious with my comments. And now it's getting ugly. And then he puts Jackie Hill Perry's picture alongside some super super studs. And I think, and let me be honest, now I'm going to cut up a little bit, but that's not fair. Because if Jackie Hill Perry didn't start no fight with him, in which I don't think she did, why would you do a whole video on her and say, I made the ex studs mad? Now, here is the problem I have with this. Marcus Rogers is some kind of prophetic voice that's supposed to be always giving the word of the Lord and war warning the saints for the end times and all this kind of stuff. So where do you have time to pick a fight with Jackie Hill Perry? Whether you agree with her or not, she ain't do nothing to you. Y'all understand what I'm saying?
So let me just call him out. Now, I'm going to pick on the stud thing, but don't uh, mistake my joking about the studs of studs with picking on Jackie Hill Perry because she ain't did nothing but just tell her testimony outside of this righteous indignation, ex-lesbian elitist thing that I feel like she always talks within. And I'm going to talk about that a little later on. But that's a personal opinion. She ain't hurting nobody per se. Now, let me keep on going because we got a little, <laughs> we got a ways to go. Well, Preston ain't like that. Like I said before, Preston say she might be a dude, but she my dude, and you ain't going to call her out. So Preston and Marcus <laughs> got on IG Live, and y'all, they were going at it. They were letting the children have it. And you know, you not of God, and you not of God, and you don't got the will of God, and you are hurting the people, and you don't follow the scriptures. Which, let me be honest, that's just stupid. Do y'all understand that everybody has their interpretive script interpretation of scriptures. It's an interpretation, not a translation. I operate off of what I think I'm right, and I think I'm right. And I think that anybody that's gonna look me in my face and tell me is wrong is just dumb because it ain't gonna do nothing to me because I, I I'm right for me. It's an arrogant, egotistical, very prideful state to try to debate somebody on scripture because nobody's going to win. Let's be real. When you go into a debate on scripture and biblical accuracy, you're going into that debate already knowing you're right. You're going into that debate because I got the word of God in my heart. So Preston is, I got the word of God in my heart. And Marcus, no, I got the word of my heart. I'm like, yo, don't y'all got some business to run? Nonetheless, uh, <laughs> let me talk about Marcus Rogers for a second. Let me give you some backdrop on Marcus. Marcus Rogers is a gay hating. Everybody is wrong but him. White adjacent, though he looks like he's mixed. Watch this. Trump supporter. Trump is called for this hour. The DNC is wrong, and they are aborting babies at, at the D D Democratic National Convention. So that should tell you everything you need to know about Mr. Marcus Rogers. Oh, he went in about the Deliverance movie. Now, the Deliverance movie, oh, he was, he was not happy about that because a gay man directed it, and it was opening up portals and all the things, all right? He also doesn't like Lecrae, D1. It's a thing. He don't like nobody. I don't even think he likes himself. Now, let me let me, let me me share with you the video he did on her, y'all. And this is where I think he was just wrong. Anybody. So let's clarify yesterday, what was the big issue? I simply asked the question. I said, if a man who was living in the LGBTQ lifestyle uh, got saved, and he says, hey, I'm delivered now, but he came to church and he was still dressing feminine, still dressing like a woman. My point was we would not tolerate that on the platform. We would not let a man get behind the pulpit with makeup, earrings, uh, a dress, or just looking feminine and acting very feminine. We wouldn't let them uh, be on the platform preaching. We wouldn't let them be on the platform leading the praise team. And so my question was, why does it seem that we tolerate that with women who have come out of that lifestyle? And people, nobody answered the question. They started making all these different arguments that I wasn't trying to make. So somebody feel free to answer that question now. We know that we would not tolerate a man coming out of that lifestyle. And we know that when you're in that lifestyle, that is what influences your desire to dress that way, right? So if I'm a new creature and I'm made new, eventually at some point, right, that's going to go away. I'm going to transform. But my point was, can I ask a question? How he know? How you know, Marcus? You was gay before? I mean, I just want to know, because you're talking real strong for the Rainbow Brigade. We tolerate it with the women who say they've come out that lifestyle, but they're still dressing masculine. But we will not tolerate that with a male on the platform. Nobody can answer that. My, my argument is not about women wearing pants. My argument is not about women wearing baggy clothes. My argument is about dressing with the appearance to look masculine and vice versa, dressing with the appearance to look feminine. That's not a bad question to ask. Now, is he a butthole? Yes. I think he is an a-hole of a-holes. Don't get me wrong. But that's not a bad question to ask. So I want to know. Y'all tell me what's up. And I'm being sincere when I, when I ask you all this. And let me know in the comments. If they are still effeminate or masculine, does that mean they're not delivered? Now, I got an opinion, but I want to know what y'all think. If someone says they're delivered from a homosexual lifestyle, but the lesbian, the ex, the ex lesbian is very much masculine. It's giving Jackie Hill King Perry or very much feminine. It's giving your average choir director, queen choir director. Does that mean they're not delivered? I want to know you all's opinion on this. <laughs> My thing is, again, none of these people are right. There's a weird elitist 
I am better than you because I have Christ and you don't going on between both parties. At the same time, Marcus is picking on our good Christian stud, Jackie Hill Perry, and we don't like that. I want to also say this. No one has the corner on God. No one has the corner on God. No one knows God better than the next person. I have the God of my understanding, and they have the God of their understanding. It be wise for me to keep the God of my understanding and my heart and live for that God, and they do the same. Anybody that's trying to feed you the God of their understanding without you asking for it is a fool. Beware of that person. It's point blank period. Now, let me keep on going. I, I hate to say it. I have the same question that Marcus Rogers has. Why do these people that say they've been delivered from their sexuality, like the crackhead gets delivered from crack, well, some of them, and the real ones, they don't like it. You'd be like, oh, you was on, wow, well, God really delivered you. Alcoholic, wow, God really delivered you. The gay? <laughs> I have never in my experience, this is my experience, I've never seen a lesbian become an ex-lesbian and not look, still look, dress, and act like a lesbian. I have never seen an ex-gay save Christ all the things and not look and act like a gay. So what is that about? And, and I have questions, honestly, and I'm not picking this, I'm being for real. I have questions. Now, just because I have questions does not mean I'm invalidating Jackie Hill Perry's testimony. If Jackie Hill Perry says she's delivered, then in my opinion, she's delivered. And until she says she's not, in my opinion, she's delivered. Point blank period. And I think that we all need to think like that and mind our business. Now, you want to, you know, talk behind the scenes and give your opinion. Yeah. But I think that we need to listen to what people say they are. Now, you don't have to believe it. But if they say they deliver, you call them delivered. Point blank, period. Let's read the comments. I want to know what y'all got to say. Oh, Marcus is a fair-skinned, fussy pants guy. <laughs> right, right. And let me tell you what, what, how, what happens sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes when you are not one or the other, you have these identity issues. And you adjacent yourself to the first community that accepts you first. Because all the churches he goes to is white adjacent. Naturally, his politics, po politics is very wide adjacent. And somebody who's fussing like he does and always in these things is giving someone who was not the cool kid as a child. And they finally found a community that loved them and they're going to give it their all. That's what Marcus Rogers gives. She should be happy he's honoring her ex-gayness, to be honest. I don't like either of these. <laughs> yeah, Jackie Hill Perry is not a fan of the real Begrade because her message from a, the community perspective is vitriolic and toxic. Now, I didn't say that part. But don't nobody want to hear nobody that got this you can be delivered message. It is toxic. To tell someone they can be delivered is backhandedly telling them you, they have a problem. This whole you can be delivered like me is basically said, I have achieved something you can't, but listen to me and let me tell you how to achieve it. And for something as layered as sexuality, that is not a fair message, especially for the person that is sincerely seeking Christ. If you really want that person to change, excuse me, mom and dad, leave that person the hell alone. If that person is sincerely seeking Christ, they will find Christ. They don't need your help.